Hi friends, MD Vegan. I have a papaya. That is so cool. Not often here in Germany, in Berlin, but here in my health food shop, I mean, I don't have that so often. They have a, a certain choice. Yeah, not all the great variety <laughs> always, but you know, one after the other, you get it. Um, small shop, but the thing is, I can get it cheaper there. I pay a membership every month, and I only need to pay thirty bucks in a month for my purchases. 30 bucks worth of fruit. And I'm already, I am already make up for the fee, for the monthly fee. So it is a big win for me to be a member there. I have a little bit of smaller uh, choice, but I get another papaya once in a while. And this is an amazing fruit. Uh, it's uh, one of the famous Indian fruit, papaya and mango. <laughs> These are really, world-class fruit you can eat it by, by itself it's it's all you need is in there basically i mean of course not literally you need greens and stuff, but there's a green peel to it but you know it's very healthy and filling and the indians say it is good for the eyes the mangoes as they say is for the skin and the papayas for the eyes it tastes uh, gentle it has a certain enzyme papain that is for um digesting proteins like the pineapple and the kiwi, there are some fruit that have this this kind of protein. They have all their own proteins, uh, enzymes, not one enzyme to, to, to split the proteins, and that makes it taste a little bit um, peculiar. Yeah, all these fruit that have that pineapple, kiwi, papaya, so they have this uh, certain flavor that makes them a little bit sometimes not so easy to combine. But other than that, papaya is very easy to combine. And it, it likes a strong flavor with it. It's kind of seasoning that can put chili into it, cayenne pepper, lime, you know, salt. You can eat it in very way, many ways. Um, like the mango also, pretty similar. Um, it's high fiber and it, it makes you full. So it's, it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> and I will make it now with strawberries. I put it together with strawberries and a dressing. The dressing here I use is an almond lime cream. Yeah, I have some almonds here, and I blend the almonds with bananas. That's easy, yeah? an easy one, easy solution, because here the brown skin of these almonds, if you don't have almond butter with your skin, then you don't need the bananas. Uh, because when you blend the almonds without the bananas, they get coarse, not smooth, because the brown skin. Yeah? So to make it smooth, is still, you need some bananas. That's my... my uh, uh, my thought, you know, my idea. With the bananas, I can blend all kinds of nuts into a gentle cream, a smooth cream. And also the banana makes it lighter. If you put only nuts, it's very heavy, like a nut, nut butter, it's very heavy. Yeah. But with the banana makes it lighter and creamier, that is nice. So I put it into my blender. And the lime is the special flavor here. So lime together with an almond is a very fascinating uh, seasoning also, a flavor. Here is the flesh of the lime and here is the zest of the lime, the green color outside. And here's some dates to balance the sour flavor from the lime. Because it shouldn't be too sour. Uh, it should also be a little bit sweet, sour sweet. That's, that's I like that a much, a lot. Yeah, too sour, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Um, though together with the papaya it could, but I prefer now the balanced version. I will see what how that works out. And so, the, but the lime almond combination that is really fantastic. I found that many years ago with a lime almond chili dressing. Ah, just blending the full limes, whole limes with almonds and chili pepper. That's a fantastic salad dressing. You gotta try that. But but here I try it with a sweet dish for fruit salad for breakfast. I just put some water on top to start, and then I will blend and see what kind of <coughs> if I need more water or so it tastes like the blender dance to show. It's so nice. I can use the ingredients as they are in nature, a lime, almond, yeah. So to season, yeah. 
to as a seasoning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Usually a seasoning, a spice is something very condensed. Yeah. The lemon zest, for example, is a seasoning like this, it's consist, um, not whole food. Yeah. You bring something together, make a season a spice, it's very powerful. It's also very healthy. But you can use the whole fruit, the whole plant, yeah, uh, as a seasoning. And that's I like that you to focus my, my, my recipes on the ingredients more. Yeah? No, a seasoning is also a spice is also an ingredient, of course. But I mean the whole food ingredient. Of course, spices, I always use spices. On top of that, you know, on top of that, I could here push you put here in here for something, a cinnamon or so as a spice, could that in, use that or so, no problem. But also the ingredients by itself, they also can be used um, as a seasoning. In the way of a seasoning, by putting them together in the right way, food combining, you know, that's to make the best of it. You can taste that also, yeah. Let's taste this one. Mm. Oh, I love this flavor. Lime and almond. You gotta try that. Very special. It's a lightness. It's a light flavor, like light shining through it. <laughs> it's really nice. Very different from lemons and bananas and cashews, for example. Yeah, yeah, but it's very nice. So I have it sit for a moment here. I can sit for a moment and I blend it again to get it really smooth. A second blending is good to make it soak a little bit. Once it's broken down, it soaks easier and faster. Though it does now. <clears throat> and then I will blend it back a second time and then I use it for my fruit salad. As I say here, half a papaya. That's only a medium or small papaya. I just peel it and I halve it and I scrape out the seeds. The, the papain is mostly, the enzyme is mostly in the seed and in the peel, but it's still a little bit in here, of course. The, the flavor is characteristic, correct, by that. It's a gentle flavor, though. Put it into bite-sized pieces, and then I add it with these beautiful uh, thawed strawberries. I got these strawberries frozen in a shop, and here is a metal container for a water bath, half an hour with the lid on top. It's, it's thawed, and then you can put it in a fruit salad and really enjoy. And also the, the strawberries, to me, oh, I keep some out for the decoration. Let me keep some beautiful um, uh, uh, strawberries for decoration. It's always nice to have a little on top, just for the visual effect. I like that a lot. So this is here. Look at these beautiful colors. Yeah, the doctor says, eat your rainbow, eat the rainbow. Then he, that's what he's talking about. He's orange, yellow, and red. Now one more blender ends to get it finalized, the dressing. The second blending saves the soaking soaking hours before the blending. So I like to do that, but I have to taste it again. Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. I'll show you what it looks like. Now it's right, the right texture here. It's pretty creamy. It's nice because the fruit here is juicy and soft, both the strawberries and papayas are soft and juicy. So it's a nice creamy dressing for that, and it looks already beautiful. <laughs> Let me show you. I show you, put it into my glass, my last balloon glass for the show effect, <laughs> to, to serve it to you on the video or to myself also. I like to watch, um, there is a saying I found in America, uh, we eat with the eyes first, right? I find it so true. And it's, there's also scientific truth to it, because without being able to see the red color, you wouldn't be able to find a fruit in nature. So at a certain point, when we began to have these red recipients in the eyes, they came after a while in the evolution, then we began to eat all the fruit. So yes, we eat with the eyes first, actually. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, if you like this one? <laughs> I do. If you like, like my video, subscribe and be vegan on YouTube, have another recipe every single day, explore the endless vegan variety and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.